Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tool talk is going to be about the Vessel 220 USB P1. Now, I already have a review for this screwdriver. It's a Vessel electric screwdriver. I, I have a video that shares all its features, the cost, where I bought it, why I bought this specific model, all those things. So I'm going to put a link in the description. So if you haven't seen that, you might want to go check that out because this video is strictly going to be about answering the question from a comment on that video from James C., he wanted to know, can you put drill bits in this screwdriver and use it to drill holes with? So I'm going to answer that question in this video. I fully don't really expect it to, but it might surprise me. Uh, who knows? I don't think that you would ever want to use this as a drill drill all the time. But maybe, and that's kind of what I'm going to look at in this video is, maybe you want to install a strike plate. You're putting in a doorknob. And as I mentioned in that video, as I kind of put this to use, if the hole is already in the wood, you can typically put screws in the wood with this screwdriver. It's powerful enough to do that. So maybe you want to go ahead and pre-drill your holes for your strike plate. And then that way you can put the screws in and it'll work out well. So we're going to try that. Or maybe you're doing electrical work in metal and maybe you've got a stripped out hole and you want to retap that from 632 to 832. I'm going to give that a try. We'll see if that works. And then we're just going to drill some random holes in wood and metal. I figure if you can drill in either one of those, you should be able to drill in plastic. But again, that's the idea behind this video. I'm just answering the question. We're going to see what it'll do. Let's go ahead and get into this. We're going to start out with a fully charged battery. I've got it plugged up, got the solid green light. And then I'm also going to always leave it on the main setting, you know, the 400 RPMs, that's the fastest that this screwdriver will go. And that's also the two newton meter torque. That's also the most torque that this screwdriver will do. So we're gonna start out with some wood. I'm gonna put in this self-centering drill bit. And again, as long as you have anything that has this sort of a, a chuck on it, you can basically put it in this screwdriver. So I've got that in there. I'm gonna come off to the side here. We're gonna go ahead and try to drill some holes so that I can put those screws in. No real problem with that. It's a very small, you know, drill bit that's inside of that. So I'm actually, like I said, I'm actually going to be kind of surprised if this will do that because it's got that built in like setting to where if you're over torquing something that it won't, it kind of stops on you and just sits there. So now we'll go ahead and install the screws. And you got to finish that off. Of course, this is plywood, probably going to be a little bit different than if you're in a door jam on some pine wood or something like that. But I was able to drill those holes, pre-drill those holes, to able to put those screws in. I did have to hand tighten those at the end. They didn't torque all the way down. But small drill bit, small self-centering drill bit, it did just fine. So that's something that you could use it for. Now let's go ahead and just go to wood bits in general, see what kind of holes that we can drill. I'm going to start out with an eighth inch. That should be pretty similar to what that was. Went through no problem. We're gonna step it up to 730 seconds. Did that as well. Let's go up five sixteenths. Starting to torque out right there. I'm gonna put it in reverse. I'm real close to getting all the way through. Might just be all those wood shavings that are in there. No, nope, it's torquing out right there. So I'm not able to drill all the way through with that 5 16 Once it gets to a certain point, it's starting to torque out on me. So small drill bits you could do that for, which again is primarily what I'd be using this screwdriver for is small screws. 
So again, I think it is pretty nice that maybe I could put in a small bit, pre-drill my holes for things like my strike plate, my door latch, whatever it might be. But those are wood holes. I was able to get a 5 16 and an eighth inch, and then it did drill the, uh, or the 5 16 is what I couldn't get. I did a 7 seconds and an eighth inch. The 5 16 is the one where it started torquing out on me. I got pretty much most of the way through there. I'd say I'm probably at least two thirds of the way right there. I finally got through it. So I would say you wouldn't want to go crazy big on the drill bit. That's probably as big as you might would want to go, but you're just going to have to play with it and see if you can finally at some point get all the way through going back and forth. So now let's go back to the eighth inch drill bit, try it on some metal. This is just a handy box cover, thinner metal. I don't think that you'd want to try it on some thicker metal. Again, I'm going to try a self-tapping bit in that box here in just a minute. But let's go ahead and see if we can get through metal. Eighth inch made it through. I got all the way through to the other side. And I think it's going to be the same results as the other, but I'm going to go ahead and try this first just so that I've got more of a battery and then maybe we'll come back and see if we can do some bigger holes in the metal. But let me go ahead and change out. So this would normally take a 632 screw. Maybe that's been messed up. The threads are messed up and you're wanting to change that out to an 832. We have this self tapping bit here. So I'm going to try putting that in there. We'll try it and see how that works out. Maybe it would do this because the hole is already drilled out, so you're not really drilling a hole, you're more tapping it, but then again, that's gonna take some torque, so I don't know how well this will do, let's see. So it did drill the hole, but you can see my lights are flickering now as I'm getting into that tapping function. It's not going to do that, but if you're able to at least drill that out, I can probably take the screwdriver by hand now. Of course, you can only do about, I think it's 12 newton meters worth of torque with that, so you gotta kinda be careful with that even, but maybe you could self, cause you're only going a few threads, you could probably tap it by hand at that point and then put it in reverse. And now I can pull that out. So now let me get an 8 32nd screw and see if it will screw in there. Here's a 632 screw. You can see now, way too big because I have drilled that out for an 832. So now we'll swap out the self tapping bit back to the screwdriver bit. Have an 832 screw right here. We're gonna put that in. And now screw that in. And that screw is loose. I don't know if I can show you that here. Maybe I can get in there and show you that. So basically while that was spinning, it didn't have enough to get it in and start tapping. And because of that, that drill bit tip ended up wallowing out that hole just a little bit. So again, I don't, I think that that's just too thick of metal because metal is going to be a total different animal with this. You're just not able to get the speed that you would need to be able to drill through metal and get through it at a, at a decent amount of time. But you can drill holes in metal. That eighth inch bit worked okay with that. So now let's swap back out. I'm going to go back to that 730 seconds, which is the second hole that we did in wood. Let's try it on the metal. I just torqued out. I kind of got through that metal about the same as the 5 16 did on the wood. So that's extremely, you know, time consuming. It's not something that you would want to use this for anyways. Again, I'm just answering the question. So don't comment below. Why would you even use something like this for this? I'm just answering the question of what this thing is capable of doing. And to me, it's capable of drilling small holes in metal, wood, plastic, Whatever you want to do in order to pre-drill probably if you're installing something with this with a small fastener 
and you, you don't have a drill with you or you just kind of want to swap back and forth because it's just a small amount but you definitely would not want to drill with this every single day and use it as a drill i don't think it's really intended to be a drill so to me it's more of a in a pinch can i drill a small hole with it it does appear to be so actually i'm kind of surprised i expected it to torque out once it got part of the way into the wood and again this is three quarter birch plywood this is just thin metal it's a box cover so you have to kind of use that as the guide of whatever it is you think you're going to drill into if you think it would work i think this is too thick of metal right here I doubt you could ever get through this. So hope that answers the questions, James C., or anybody else that was wondering that question. But let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. Hope it was useful in some way. You guys stay safe. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video.